Thanks for clicking on this video. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. So let's get started. So here we're evaluating product notation. Now in a previous video, and I'm going to link to that in the upper left, we evaluated summation notation. And that's given by the Greek letter sigma, where we found each term and we added them up. But here we're using pi notation. And pi notation tells us that when we find the terms, we, add, we don't add them, we multiply. So <clears throat> we're still going to plug in the number down here to start with and stop when we reach this number. So if I plug in 1, 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3 is negative 1. That's my first term. If I plug in 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1. If I plug in 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 3 is 3. And then finally, plug in 4. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 3 is 5. And so, I'm going to take these four terms and I'm going to multiply them because that is what this product notation tells us. 5 times 3 is 15 times negative 1 is negative 15. So with number 2, here we're plugging in the numbers from 1 to 5. So when n equals 1, it's going to be 1 on top and 2 on the bottom. When n equals 2, it's going to be 2 on top and 3 on bottom. When n equals 3, it's going to be 3 on top and 4 on the bottom. When n equals 4, it's 4 on top and 5 on bottom. When n equals 5, it's going to be 5 on top and 6 on the bottom. Now since we're multiplying all of these with fractions, we can cancel out some things. The 2's, 1 on top, 1 on bottom. Same with the 3, the 4, and the 5. So what we're left with is just 1 sixth. Now number 3 is very similar to number 2. The only difference is, is that we're going from 1 all the way up to Q. So my first term would be 1 half, my second term would be 2 thirds, my next term would be 3 fourths, dot dot dot, but what would be the last term? It would be Q over Q plus 1. Well, like number 3, everything is going to cancel except the 1 to start with and the denominator that ends it. So the 2's cancel, the 3's cancel, this 4 is going to cancel with that. This Q in the numerator is going to cancel with whatever's down here. So what we'll be left with is a 1 over q plus 1, which fits as a rule for up here because we plugged in 1 through 5 and we ended up with 1 over 6. So we ended up with a denominator that was one more than what we ended with, which is the same here. We are going to end on q and our denominator will be q plus 1. Number 4. Here we're plugging in numbers for i, starting at 1 and going to n. So I start with n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. And we're going to keep going until we have n minus n. Now wait a minute. n minus n is 0. And so 0 times anything is going to be 0. So it doesn't matter how many terms there are. This is going to equal 0. So here, for number 5, we're plugging in 1 to n up to the nth power, times 2 to the nth power, times 3 to the nth power, times 4 to the nth power, dot, 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 all the way to n to the nth power. Now, how can we simplify this? Well, everything is carrying the exponent of being raised to the nth power. So that means we can write everything under the same 
exponent, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 dot dot dot, n. And we can simplify this to just n factorial to the nth power. And then the last one, here we're plugging in 1 through n into this expression. Now c is not i, so if I plug 1 in for i, it's just c. If I plug 2 in for i, it's c. I plug 3 in for i, it's c, dot, dot, dot. And if I plug n in for i, it's also c. So I'm multiplying c n number of times. So I can shorten that to write it as c to the nth power. All right. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. To support the channel, click the links in the description down below. Thanks for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.